Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and since 2003, we have actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So today, we'll be looking at a transition issue from a 6% service tax to a 8% service tax as of 1st of March 2024. So based on the ruling, if you actually have already built for services that you have not provided before the 1st of March 2024, and the payment was only received after that date, you are supposed to charge an additional 2% service tax to your customer. So today, we'll be looking at two ways of keying the additional 2% of service tax inside AutoCount. Option number one is to use a debit note to account for the additional 2% service tax. To do that, let me pull out the invoice first, all right? So come here, invoice. So we tag 28 February. We have an invoice for 100 ringgit and 6% service tax, all right? Okay, so now the customer hasn't paid us, we would have to charge them the additional 2% and in this method, we will be using a debit note. So we come to a debit note select uh, the customer okay the date can be any time after the first of march we press plus then we can select our product ring the first item will be one say at 100 ringgit but from here the tax here we will select sv8 okay then from the next one we press plus and then from here we can select the same product we put here minus one 100 and here we will select the tax code SV6. Okay, so a uh, reason here you can actually put here this is additional 2% service tax. Okay, and if you have the invoice number, you can key in the invoice number here. Once done, we press save. Okay, alright, so once we actually key in that extra um, debit note, when a customer makes payment, you must come to AR payment here. Select the customer, testing. Now you see. There's 106, which is a 6%, and the additional $2 to knock off. Alright, so you have to knock off both invoice once the customer make payment. Okay. Two is for us to actually create a credit note for the invoice number um, 6%, and then after that, we will create another invoice or debit note for the 8%. Alright, so to do that, what we do is we come here to credit note, come here to the same customer so what we do is we transfer from invoice select the invoice the 28th february press ok so the system will this is a six percent and reason is um, changing from six percent to eight percent all right so what happened is we just press save and done okay then after that let's say we want to do a new invoice we can just come here to invoice again here testing again test customer then we press plus we select the product ring select here say 100 and then from here we change the tax code to eight percent all right so this is actually to credit note the entire six percent invoice and then generate a new eight percent invoice this one will give you a bit more cleaner and more accurate view so when we want to make a customer payment we just come to ar payment here Select my customer tests. We only see one invoice at 108 miss with the 8% service tax. Alright. So this is actually how easy it is um, to actually account for the 2% additional service tax inside auto account. Both methods are okay. It's also depending on your accountant and your auditor on how they would like to perceive that information. Alright. So if you have a topic you'd like us to cover, do leave it in the comment below. Thank you.